Hello my flat earth friends. In the last video we looked at circumnavigations done by boats. In this video we will look at all the circumnavigations that were ever done by air. The first one ever was done by the US Army in 1924. It took them 175 days and they traveled a distance of over 27,000 miles. The map you see was the proposed route, but a lot of things went wrong. A plane even crashed. And this is how it looks on the flat earth map. The second one was this guy. It took him 15 months and he traveled a distance of around 20,000 miles. He did this with a 25 horsepower plane. He also got some bad luck and used a boat to travel across the oceans. Now this is interesting, the next one that went around the world did it with a zeppelin and they did it in only 21 days with only 4 stops. Maybe we need a zeppelin to fly over Antarctica. The next one was Wiley Post with his navigator Harold Getty. They did it in 8 days and 16 hours and did a distance of around 15,500 miles. During their trip they had a broken propeller and had to do an emergency landing. Wolfgang von Grunel! I don't know if I said it right. He did it in 4 months. I could not find the distance. In 1949 the US Air Force went around the world non-stop in 94 hours. They covered a distance of around 23,500 miles. Four in-air fuelings were required for the flight. Jerry Mock was the first woman to fly solo around the world. She did it in 29 days with a distance of 22,860 miles. In 1976 Don Taylor was the next one. He did a trip in two months in a home-built plane. He needed two attempts, bad weather made him abort his first attempt. I could not find the distance for this. Dick Smith was the first one to circumnavigate the earth with a helicopter. He did it in three stages and did a distance of around 34,000 miles. Because he got no permission to land in Russia, he had to refuel from a boat one time. The Rutan Voyager was the first aircraft to fly around the world without stopping or refueling. It took 9 days for a distance of 26,000 miles. In 1992 the Concorde flew around the world in 33 hours. They did a distance of around 25,000 miles with 6 stops. Bertrand Picard and Brian Jones were the first to go around the world in a balloon. It took them 20 days and they did a distance of 28,400 miles. They used the jet streams to fly around so they don't need fuel for forward motion. Colin Bodil was the first person to do the trip with the ultralight airplane. It took him 99 days with a distance of 22,000 miles. Polly Vetcher was the first woman to fly around the world solo in a small aircraft. I could not find how long it took her, but it was a distance of 29,000 miles. The millionaire Steve Fossett went around the world three times, one time in a balloon and two times in an airplane. The last trip took him nine days and covered the distance of 26,000 miles. Rahul Monga was the next one to fly around the earth. He did it in 79 days with the ultralight airplane. His distance was 25,000 miles. I think it makes a lot more sense on the flat earth map. If it was a globe, why don't they fly above the equator in a straight line? With 58 hours, Ricardo Mortara and his crew broke the speed record in 2010. Until this day they still hold the record. They did a distance of 22,850 miles. At the age of 21, Jack Wiegand went around the world in 58 days, covering a distance of around 24,000 miles. He broke the record for youngest pilot ever to circumnavigate the Earth. Ryan Campbell circumnavigated the Earth in 2013. He did it in 70 days and covered a distance of 28,000 miles.
In 2014, Amelie Rose was next. She did a distance of 29,000 miles in 108 hours. Matt Gutmiller was the next one. He did a trip of 30,000 miles in 44 days. Those are all the circumnavigations done by air listed on the Wikipedia page. Hmm, so none of them went north to south or south to north? Well, I found one expedition. Colin Bodil and Jennifer Murray tried to fly around the world in a helicopter from pole to pole in 2003. Because they crashed when they arrived in Antarctica, the expedition was cancelled. In 2007 they succeeded. It took them 171 days and they did a distance of 37,000 miles. This is the route they took. So it seems that the distances increase if you go north to south. That doesn't make much sense on a ball. This was in 2007 and they claimed it was the first flight ever that went around the world north to south. Well, they didn't really go around the world. This last one is one I got from a subscriber. It's the Transpolar 08 expedition that supposedly circumnavigated the Earth north to south, crossing both poles. Now, this is a strange one for many reasons. First of all, even though it's a pretty recent expedition, I could not find the distance. It's also, I think, the only expedition that was done by a company. Even more so, the company that sells the type of plane that was used. And then also, the flight times are pretty bizarre. Maybe they just went like this and cheated a little with the flight times? Well, I don't know, I don't know what to think of this. Maybe the question is, since it's a company, can we trust them? So I went to Google and I typed Tech Aviation Fraud. And yes, I got many results. From 2009, Tech Aviation is the subject of serious ongoing criminal allegations of conspiracy to defraud fraudulent tradings in Britain's biggest ever organized criminal conspiracy and corruption case. So, I don't know if I should trust this company or not. Anyway, it's very strange that everyone is circumnavigating west or east. No one, or almost no one, is going north to south. Is this proof of the flat earth? I don't know. I let you make up your own mind. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. I'll be back.